Morning, Gail Pennington, TV critic of uh, the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, stltoday.com. Good morning, Gail. Good morning, McGraw. Uh, Mad Men was juicy last night. It was so good last night, wasn't it? Yeah, the scenes with him and his daughter were... I don't know if there's a spoiler uh, spoiler alert to be had, but... Well, I, I don't know that, they, that it was a very spoilery episode. I mean, it was a funny episode. I laughed so much during that episode, but also a lot of, you know, important stuff got done. Well, share it, because, Gail, I DVR'd it, and, you know, I'm always wanting to know the endings of things anyway, so. I just I just think, you. I mean, I'm with Gail. It wasn't so much as something happened, oh, my goodness, do you, do you, I, I, I can't. It was just more or less of a postcard from 1968. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Valentine's Day, 1968, or 1969, I guess, would be the. Kelly, I'm glad you have it on the DVR because I kept it. I'm going to watch it again. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The conversation lot, with him and his da- the conversation with him and his daughter is some of the best television I've seen in a long time. Right. And the daughter Kelly does so find up. out that her dad's not working. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Okay. But but even mm. the part where she's like, "Do you know how hard it was for me to go home?" You know, that was that was some good dialogue and some really interesting stuff there. I just right. Thought, yeah. I am intrigued yeah, now. It was, it was really pretty yeah. good. All right. Anything else on TV last week we missed or should have watched or well, didn't did watch? you Did you by any chance sample the new series about witches that premiered last night called Salem? I did not. Mm. You need to find it and try it. What, cha- what channel is it on? It's, it's WGN. Yes. Remember when they were the Cubs Superstation? Yes. Yeah. yeah and it was the home of Andy Griffith. Has, right. If you're going to be a cable network now, you have to do original programming. So this is their first original programming. And we it's like about the Salem witch hunts of the 1600s. Ooh, and it's pretty shocking. It's scary. It's very dark, and um, you'll see some things you're not expecting to see on Basic Cable. Mm. On WGN. <laughs> well, you know. know, you know what's interesting is that Basic Cable, and you can sort of speak to this better than anybody else, Gail, is that Basic Cable is unregulated. Yes. Um, but they're sort of self-regulated, if you will. They are self-regulated, but they keep they keep ooging a little forward. Right. Yeah. Um, they they've they've gone forward in language and they've gone forward in nudity. And um, I think that a show like Salem and a show like The Americans on FX pretty much does everything that a premium cable show would do. Hmm. All right. Salem just it uh, debuted last night on WGN. Last night, and they're repeating it a whole bunch of times. They're really excited uh, about right, it. Good. I think it's very well done, and if you like horror at all, um, it's it's for those people. I was watching on uh, HBO had that Seven Hundred Sundays, that Billy Crystal Seven Hundred Sundays. I think Did they you enjoy that. I I watched some of it and I enjoyed what I saw, but I think they they dedicated one HBO channel to twenty four hours of. Billy Crystal and 700 Sundays. <laughs> I think they just kept replaying it the whole time, so God love him. Uh, that was his Broadway show, and they recorded it off, off the stage and when he was doing it in New York, and so it may have cost him a lot of money to do it. They want to get their money's worth out of it. Uh, it was what I saw. I, I saw the first maybe half hour, 45 minutes. It was, it was as oh, good as— Oh, wait till you see the second act. You'll cry your eyes out. Okay, good. Um, all right. Parents. Uh, what else should we be watching well, we've got two new shows this week on on the networks, and I I, I can't recommend either one of them. All right. Uh, Bad Teacher, <laughs> which is Thursday night on CBS, yes. is um, you remember the movie with Cameron Diaz? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, they've they've made it into a, a sitcom, and it's about a, a a woman whose rich husband dumps her, and she doesn't have anything, and she gets a job at a posh private school because she thinks she'll meet another rich husband. A that lot so of, does not sound original. A, a lot of rich uh, guys hanging around um, prep schools? <laughs> yes. Okay. Apparently divorced dads all mm. come to pick up their daughters, and she thinks she'll meet one. Oh. I mean, uh, the, the movie, which I didn't see, was that movie even any good? The movie was one of those kind of loud, crude movies like Bridesmaids that a lot of people like that aren't really my taste. All right. Mm. Uh, and then uh, ABC's got a clunker. Oh, my gosh. Black Box is one of the worst shows of the year if not the worst and it has good intentions it was created by a woman whose father was a doctor who was bipolar you know what we used to call manic depressive right but they've done it so i mean it's like the woman 
doctor goes off her medicine and she dances and dances and dances and we see her like trying to fly and oh it's really annoying all right thursday's abc avoid it at 9 p.m abc avoid it i will have reviews of those uh closer to the time they debut they um what's this turn on uh, amc that's before Mad Men? is that any good um i think it's deadly dull it's a um set during the american revolution it's and it's about a group of colonists who spied for george washington right okay well, which sounds interesting right but mm-hmm. it's just not it's just not interesting it's not involving it looks cool the, the way they shot it and some of the costumes and stuff looks kind it of looks fun to me like the the bad reenactment parts of a pbs documentary <laughs> you mean the history channel gone awry when yeah, they do the wrong, reenactment wrong, yes. reenactment on the bottom <laughs> right. all right gail when can we read you when can we see you I'll be in the Friday ghost section, and then in Sunday A&E, and I'll have a live chat on Thursday. That's Gail Pennington, ladies and gentlemen, and she's our TV critic. She writes for The Post, and she's with us every Monday. Uh, Gail, have a good week. Thanks. You too. Bye, guys. 828 to your Big 550 KTA.